you've already spent weeks laying a foundation of addition as the opposite of subtraction, right? You talk about it all the time. You go like this all the time, right? Part and part make whole, whole much part and part. This should mean something to you, hopefully. Oh, God. So now, when, we, when we're writing all these different facts, a very simple short rhyme is crisscross, reverse, reverse. So I don't know why it's exciting to say it that way. But so we're going to crisscross these to write our other addition fact, which you've already taught a lesson on the commutative property of addition, so this is not new. You're just basically moving from conceptual understanding to like patterns, right? At this point, like we're following a pattern. Crisscross, reverse, reverse. We're going to reverse this one, and we're going to reverse this one. That's why we say reverse twice. You all watched the video, right? So what is the trick for reverse? Because kids get a little confused about what you mean by reversing. Five goes first. Mm -hmm. But the trick that I mentioned in the video is to use a zipper. Oh, yeah. Okay. So we think about this as a zipper. And when we unzip it, we go like this. Five minus three equals two. Here's my zipper, and now I'm going to unzip it. Five minus two is three. Just because they get a little bit confused about unzipping. You circled the holes too, didn't you? To right. Excellent. Thanks. So yeah, the final check. Well, no, that's why we watch the videos, is so you guys can participate a little bit more, right? So um, the final check is that the holes are in the right spot. So in addition, the hole is my answer. In subtraction, the hole is what I start with. So that's another trick. Another trick that I've heard is someone at um, Spring like names this place. Like she calls this number Big Mama. Big Mama is always the answer to addition. Um, but then if somebody's going to be subtracting in her house, she's the boss. She starts it. She has all the candy that is given away to the kids. Whatever works. That's like a fun analogy that you could use. Someone else wants to call this 